everybody, and welcome back to the next adventure. I am Mestiza the Gamer, and today we are playing Interastra. Inter... Interastra. I'm guessing that's what that is. I haven't seen this before. I, I regularly look at new uh, demos available on Steam, and this one just so happened to pop up the other day. And uh, I'm just not getting to it, actually. So, let's get into it, yeah? First, let me... Yeah, that's not... No. No music. Sorry. This is supposed to be a survival game of sorts. I'm guessing. Because that's what I searched for in Steam. And I don't want uh, music to be... Covering up any sounds. Earth's natural resources are running out, and humanity's days are numbered. Looking for a way out, people's eyes turn towards the stars. You volunteered to take part in a risky space mission to find a new, habitable home for the human race. Put into long-term stasis after years of drifting through space, true, trough, space, you awaken. Sorry, I'm an editor. That's my job at Do For A Living. So when I see, when I see misspellings or grammar or whatever problems, it's like uh, I point it out. However, not everything goes according to the plan. You wake up amidst warning sirens and fires, stranded on an alien world. Interesting. On an alien Greetings, world. pioneer. You seem to have woken up from an unexpectedly long cryo sleep. Your motor functions, as well as your memories, have been damaged. As per protocol, I will assist you in regaining basic functionality, so you may proceed with the mission. Okay. This kind of reminds me of Osiris New Dawn. I have compiled a list of steps for you to reach optimal performance levels, and I will display them as short-term goals. You just need to follow my guidance and your survival will be guaranteed. For now, you must secure a source of food and drinkable water. Wow. Kind of hazy. It's pretty. This egg. Alien fruit. Oh, we gotta hold it. Anything back behind here? Anything hidden? No. It's shiny. It looks like bubble wrap. Shiny bubble wrap. I have an inventory? Oh, I do. Okay. Scanning tool. Maybe I should use that. Scan. Oh, scan area. Nothing's happening. Oh, insert battery. No. Choose new battery. No. Choose scan target. Nothing. I'm not getting anything. Okay. Put that away for now. Let's get more fruit. What is this? Oh. One god What did that say? God dro droplet? Goo droplet. <laughs> they say, wow. One god droplet. What's that? This wall's got a green tongue. <laughs> You have collected a piece of flora which passes the Federation requirements to be deemed edible. Please ingest them until you reach optimal nourishment and hydration levels. However, keep some stored in the case of future malnourishment. Lady, I've been collecting these. Wake up, where have you been? I suppose I should do what she says. Hold to use. No, what did that say? Yeah, hold to use. Oh, there we go. Ah, okay. You have regained necessary nutrition levels to proceed. Faint energy readings that are not from the crashed ship have been detected in the area. Investigate them, as they might give a clue to continuing the mission.
Ooh, shiny things. Diamonds, right off the bat? This must be some low level stuff if it's, if I'm getting diamonds right off the bat. What is that? Nothing there. Okay, shift to run. Collect everything. One more. Okay. No, don't. Well, might as well, I suppose. No more eggs. Ooh. Purple things. The way out of this area is blocked by rock debris. I estimate the rocks to be too heavy to move using your weakened body. It is recommended <laughs> you obtain a device to break it. How about my fists? Okay, more stuff out there. Or out there. In there. Let me just look around and out here first. Crafting table and terminal. What are these? What are those? Okay. Is this the inside of a giant PC? Or the outside? Alright, let's go in this cave. I'll check out the crafting table and the terminal. After I do some... Some more... Ooh. Some more, uh, harvesting. What is this? Iron ore? What's this? Titanium ore. Give them all to me. So that's it. Nothing else in here. All right, let's go check out this crafting and terminal, crafting table and terminal. You have gathered necessary materials. Peter there was Simmons, a functioning crafting Ivan station Barak. next to the terminal that you can use to create the drill and a battery. There's a titanium pot deposit near the hangar. You can use it to get materials to create a space rocket and leave the planet sending drill blueprints to the or in the attachment. Download all data. Oh, that's it? Okay. Oh. Create a hand drill. Create a small power cell. So that's this. Wow, hand drill. What do I need to create this? Oh, I see. Make the small components first. Oh, I need three of these. And then I make this. I get it. All right, so I made that. I don't need a scanning tool because I got one. Small power cell, that's what I need. Drilling device acquired. It is now possible to break trough the rock blockade. Proceed. 
My thanks. Thank you very much. Okay, uh... Let's do that. Let's insert a new power cell. Whoa! That was... a cool sound. All right. What does this do? Doesn't really do anything, does it? Scan area, or we choose scan target. Okay, it doesn't, uh, oh, it gives me an option, but doesn't, there is no other option. Gotcha. Uh oh. It's stuck. There we go. Andrew temp. Oh, nice. What the heck? That's weird. Rock disruptions have been removed. Detecting a larger energy reading from the north. Following the pattern, it is recommended you investigate it. So no creatures to attack or to kill and eat. I suspect that'll come later since this is just a demo. I hope it comes later because it'd be kind of a boring survival game if the only survival component of this is making sure you eat your, your fruits and veggies and drink plenty of water. Did I come back this way or come from this way? I don't remember. I don't know what the... Oh, okay. That's what the scanning does. That's wicked cool, actually. Oh, am I supposed to go down here? Signal oh, yeah, right. source is near. Use the vegetation and terrain to navigate to it. I see. We're doing a little bit of uh, Super Mario here. Ugh. There we go. Nothing. This place looks pretty. Scans indicate this facility was used as a facility to create and launch manned interplanetary rockets. By plugging into the console, it should be possible to chart a new course and use remaining parts as a base for a new vehicle. You don't say. Well, before I do all that, I gotta check out the area. Oh, apparently I don't have stamina. I mean, I uh, I have stamina, but it's not a it's not a, a attribute or whatever that I need to worry about. I can just run forever. What is that for? Oh. Or not. But 
thought I was climbing. Hold your horses. I ain't going up checking anything yet. I want to see what's around. I can't. Nope. Can't jump there. surprise there I guess the rockets gonna go inside those half circle things um, it would seem I can't go up anywhere Okay. All right. Fine. Have it your way. It seems that last destination still remains in the logs. It is also the only planet that will be reachable with the available supplies. Okay. Oh. Oh, shoot. Wow, that's cool. So, no, okay. So I'm guessing that these other planets eventually may or may not be uh, available. I don't know. Oh, these these guys are moving really quick. I see planet. Go. Wait. Okay. Did you say it's the only reach reachable one? There's two other planets in between us. Why am I going to the one closest to the Earth? I mean, closest to the sun and moving the fastest. What does that say? Mushroom planet, go to the planet orbit. Okay. Planet is covered in flora resembling Earth's mycelium, but on a much grander scale. No, I don't want to land on the planet. Where are you? Planets covered in layers of ice and snow hover some forms of life flourish on it as it possesses a functioning atmosphere. Special equipment is advised as temperatures fall well below baseline equipment resistance. Plant material and copper ore. Okay, landing on planet. Do I just... I have created oh, an interface geez. to interact with existing software. Use the available parts to create a valid rocket. I will run simulations and update in real time to give you information if your design will be able to reach the destination. Oh, now that's cool. So, whoop, put that down. I need to make this. Well, how am I supposed to... Oh, okay. I guess her wings are already there. Booster. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, is that it? Oh. Guess that's it. Launch to. Oh, seriously, that's it? Well, that's the shortest, uh, demo I've played so far. 
Well, okay then. That was Interastra. Check them out on uh, Steam. Here's all their stuff. They're on Twitter, Discord, and uh, like I said, Steam. I'll put all the information down in the description below. And I thank you for watching. Uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, click on that bell, or don't. That's totally up to you. No pressure. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next adventure.